I smell it. It smells like burning. I am Aoi Inukawa, a senior in high school. My hobby is patrolling the streets of town. I can smell from this way. Hey, old guy, you're not allowed to burn anything in the field. Huh? Why should I be banned by a little girl? I'm not the one who decides to ban, but the law says it. It's disturbing the neighbors, and with winds this strong. Oh, it's burning. Hey, come on, I told you. What? Besides, he didn't even prepare some water. Ugh. There is a fire. Fire truck, please. The location is. Thanks for your report. No problem. Thanks for taking care of it. Well, then I'm leaving. Yay! I kept the peace in this town today, too. Hey, the girl. Didn't she report the other day for a small fire? Oh, the report around here is usually from her. Really? She seems suspicious. Right. I'm home! Hey, Mom, it smells like burnt gratin. Oof, I forgot to take it out of the oven. You really have a keen nose. It's a little burnt, but do you think we could still eat it? Yes, it looks tasty. That's good. Since I was a little girl, I have a superior sense of smell to most people. I'm especially sensitive to burning smells, so I can find a cigarette that somebody had forgotten to extinguish, or something burnt on the floor. Thanks to this acute sense of smell, I have been able to detect fires early and call the fire department. So I am proud of my nose. Hmm? Outside? Smells something burning? A fire broke out from the room where my grandma lives! Fire! Mom! Dad! There's a fire! Hmm? What happened? Grandma's room! It's burning! Call the fire department! What? OMG! Honey, a fire! Oh. I'm gonna check on Grandma! Grandma! Oh. Grandma! Are you able to stand up? We're gonna get out of here! Grandpa's mortuary tablet. We can do it later! Let's go! The smoke is too much! My throat hurts! We have to get out of here ASAP! With Grandma! Well, there's still a way out! Who is there? Oh, I see, the firefighters came. Thank God. Okay. Are okay. Are you okay? Oh, a fireman. Oh, we. Thank God, she is fine. Um, I'm fine. Thank you so much. Great. Your grandmother is also fine. Impressive. This guy carried me easily. He was so muscular, so cool. Oh, you're the girl who called us to report the fire earlier this evening, right? He remembered me. Oh, yes. I see. Huh? What's wrong? After that, another firefighter who heard from the firefighter who saved me started talking to my parents about something. Then, I heard my dad's loud voice. What? Are you trying to say that Owie started the fire? Oh, uh, no, it's not determined yet, but... She has an acute sense of smell. That's it. Please calm down, madam. What? Perhaps you suspect I started the fire? Uh, you have reported fires very frequently, haven't you? Yes, but no way. Are you trying to say that I caused all of that? Because I wanted to start a fire? I did it on my grandma's room. <coughs> Are you okay? The smoke must have hit your throat. You too, to the ambulance. It's not a big deal. Anyway, I didn't do it. I have a keen nose. If there's a fire, I can tell immediately by the smell of burning. He's just doing a patrol to keep the town safe. Hmm. 
She doesn't look like she's lying. Then I can show you the proof tomorrow. Proof? You, old guy, watch me. Huh? Old guy? I'm still 30 years old. If you see me notice the fire before anyone else, you are going to believe that I'm not the culprit, right? Right. Uh, okay, I'll talk to my captain, so... The firefighter told my story to the captain, who was talking to my dad and mom. And the story came together. The next day at noon, I took the off-duty firefighter and went out to patrol the streets. My name is Akira Mizutani. It's good to see you. He pisses me off, but he is cool. I'm Aoi Inukawa. It's good to see you too. Now then, where is a fire? I don't smell anything, so there is no fire. Ah, then the proof is... There are days when there are no fires. Ah, doesn't it smell like burning? Oh, this is the smell of a house over there making baked potatoes. Baked potatoes? There's no way she could figure out the details of that smell. Oh, how did she know it was the baked sweet potato from the house that far away? Is it true that she has an excellent sense of smell? Mm -hmm. What's wrong? I can smell. I only smell the baked sweet potatoes, though. This way. I smell something weird from this store. There's no smoke. Maybe the smell of Chinese food? It looks like they're closed. Maybe the smell is ingrained into the building or something. No, not that kind of smell. Something not good. What kind of smell? Hmm, like gas. Gas? Wait, don't touch the door! What? I don't remember exactly what happened at that moment. After I woke up in a hospital, my mom explained to me that apparently there was a gas leak in the store. When I touched the door, static electricity must have ignited, and that was probably the reason that the explosion occurred. I got burns all over, but they were minor. On the other hand, Mizutani's son, who was protecting me... Oh, Owie, sorry I doubted you. Your accurate sense of smell is real. Thanks for protecting me. <laughs> of course, but I couldn't protect you enough. You got injured. I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing to me? Your injuries are worse than mine. You don't have to worry about me. Yes, I do care. You got injured because of me. Because I tried to touch the door so thoughtlessly. You kept the town safe, you know? Unfortunately, neither of us got seriously hurt, so it could have been worse. We're lucky the explosion was just that size. Just that size? That was scary enough for me. Oh, right. Uh, that was scary. I'm sorry. If we had never doubted you and never tried to test you, you wouldn't have got injured. I don't know how to apologize. You don't have to apologize. I don't remember what happened, but I remember Mizutani-san hugging me tightly. I was completely contained in his big body. Mizutani-san took all the wounds I was supposed to receive. Is there anything I could do for Mizutani-san? Um... Huh? I'll take the responsibility and marry you. Uh, what? I'm telling you. Those injuries will leave scars. And if you have scars all over, you won't be able to find a wife, right? That's why I'm taking the responsibility and offering to be your wife. Wait, what are you talking? No one will be bothered if I can't get married. It's usually the other way around. I've let a young lady get hurt. So I should be the one to take responsibility. But uh, that's not good for you. Then take the responsibility and marry me. No, don't worry. Your wounds will get better. I'm sure you'll even find someone to marry. Hey, you are dull. Ha! Huh? I've been saying that I want to marry you because I have a crush on you. 
You can't tell me not to fall in love with you, even though you kept showing me how cool you are, okay? Take responsibility and marry me. Uh, it happens when you become an adult, all right? Ah! Yay! Ouch! I was worrying that he would make it vague, but after Mizutani-san was discharged from the hospital, he came straight to my house to greet my parents and my grandma. I am sincerely sorry that I have doubted your daughter, and also that I have put her in danger. And to take responsibility for hurting your daughter, I would like to start dating her, with marriage in mind. Marriage? Since Mizutani-san got scars that won't go away because of me, I told him I would take responsibility and marry him. No, I'm the one who takes responsibility, right? It's fine. I'll take it too. Uh... Oh dear. Oh. Since then, a lot of things happened. I was allowed to be in a relationship with Mizutani-san. And after graduating from college, I married him. Even now when I'm out, I sometimes come across a small fire, but I'm not afraid of anything because the firefighter I rely on most in the world comes there quickly.